we're going to just do another daily update since a lot has happened today. Like we talked about in this morning's video, you had a pretty big gap down. So um, what you were looking for was to open below the old bull gap that it made and then for a breakdown continuation from there. Another way to look at it was just a simple false breakout. So you can see SPX had this triangular breakout and we just got down below it and we're heading lower. So to break this trend line here, that's the next major thing, right? So what you're basically trying to find, of course, is a key level to watch. And that's going to be call it 3910, 3900 for uh, SPX. It'll be 390 for SPA. This chart is a little bit cleaner. So in the grand scheme of things, you have this channel. This channel, until it breaks, it is just going to continue to do this. That means it has to go down. If it goes down, then uh, then the area that you're looking at long term is um, up in here at a retest of this old resistance, which could act as um, support. So you're just looking for a move lower. And we know that if we go that low, if we start headed that way, I'll say, we look at our monthly chart and we see that we had this broadening formation kind of thing going on here that did break to the upside, right? So you kind of got that going on. And then you break to the upside and you come back. You're supposed to hold that and go higher. It's supposed to be support now. But you are, if that channel plays out, that means you break down. You break down here, you're headed back to this demand area. Um, and then, well, first, this retest area. And then potentially that demand area. From that point, what I would say is you would likely see some, maybe a retest back up in there. And then unless something's changed, you're probably coming up in here, right? Consolidate there. And typically when you have this kind of move back inside of the broad information, then you can go back to retest the lows. Seemed like a crazy move, but that's how charts work. Now, of course, this is macro driven because this is long term investing and people will say it sounds crazy, but so does a four or five percent decline because inflation surprised to the upside. That's what happened today. That's why the market is so bad today. And until this long term trend changes, then you're looking at a massive breakdown. And I would say. Just pay attention to how coincidentally this retest of the dot com highs, the great financial crisis highs, lands up in like spring of 2024 or something like that, I think it was. So, could be a coincidence. Maybe, maybe not. Something fun to think about. But uh, as far as right now, what we are playing right now is this breakdown to that retest and possibly that demand area. And from there, we reevaluate the situation. And if it goes as planned, yeah, we see different signals. I uh, didn't get a different signals, but that's why I'm not holding in long term because things are looking very, very, very bad. Uh, as far as like in like a 401k holding shares, I'll say. So that's the long term outlook. That's what we got going on now. We talked about this monthly setup before with this reversal candle and, uh, just play it. And now we got a direction. Got a sense of momentum. Got a direction. So good luck. Not financial advice. And, uh, like and subscribe. And then we'll be back with more content.